Ladies and gentlemen, what would you do if you went to fuel up tomorrow or later on this afternoon and you saw that gasoline was around $21, $20 a gallon? For regular, that is. It would be a shock, wouldn't it? Well, what if I told you that this is a very likely possibility if we, the Western nations, to include first and foremost the United States of America, continue to go down the road that we're going? Why did I come up with this number, $21 or $20 a gallon for gas? Well, I'm going to talk about that here in a minute, and I'm also going to share with you some forecasts that Mr. Jim Rickards has. He is an insider who's worked for the government for many years. He is very smart and he came out saying that there is a very good possibility from doing actual research, not that he came up with this number out of thin air, that gold within the next few years can go up to as high as $15,000 an ounce. Now that may sound like a lot, but it's not the gold that I'm worried about. It's not saying, oh, I need to have gold because it's going to go up to $15,000 an ounce. What I'm saying is that if gold goes up to $15,000 an ounce, even if it goes up to half that much, what does that mean for everyone else? Before we start, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that I'm going to go ahead and leave some chapters on this video so that you can skip from part to part if you like to. I want to ask you for some help. It seems that probably I think in like the last three weeks or so or less than three weeks I've had two videos demonetized and it seems that ever since I had those two videos demonetized man I'll tell you what YouTube just put me in the back burner they went from recommending my videos to over a quarter million people within the first few hours of the video being published to about one-fifth of that so you can just understand how it is that they can either make you or break you right if they don't like what you're doing if they don't like what you're saying like for example this one right here where i talked about that climate change is not your fault they didn't like that one at all and it was suppressed greatly it's so suppressed my videos going forward after those videos were demonetized that even my wife was saying hey you haven't put up any videos for the last couple of days and i'm like heck yeah i've been in the bunker you haven't gotten any notices and even my wife wasn't getting any notices and she has subscribed and she has pressed the little bell saying you know all videos and all that kind of stuff and uh, they're not even notifying her not that they know that she's my wife but just saying that they're not notifying nearly any one that subscribed to this channel our community members so ladies and gentlemen if you can help out and give the video a like it's not something that i ask often i've told you in the past that one day this is going to come not just for me but for everyone that's in the realm of preparedness and also for truth tellers to include financial channels that are telling people the truth about what's coming down the line because this can that the government has been kicking down the road eventually they're not going to be able to kick it down the road anymore it's going to run into a wall ladies and gentlemen and it's going to come to a full stop and again you will go to get gasoline that day or you will go to the market that day and you'll notice that everything is priced two three four five times higher than the day before because i do believe that when this happens it's going to be very quick in order to shock and awe the american public so that we can beg the government for a solution to the problem that they themselves created now i know that we're getting close to christmas ladies and gentlemen if you would like to stay toward the end of this video i'm going to show you a few things that are on an awesome sale right now that you should still be able to get before christmas to include a couple of businesses that i have no affiliation with whatsoever but they produce a great product one of those being made 100 percent here in the united states of america i'm going to say that till the end and if you want to go to that you can use the chapters or you can just go through the video and make it through the end i do really appreciate it ladies and gentlemen if you can watch the entire video through the end even if you put it on and go get a coffee because that really tells youtube hey you need to show this to more people i honestly believe that the information that i share with you that people need to know this information because you know what let me go ahead and take a moment uh, again i'm going to have chapters on this video so go ahead and use your chapters if you don't want to hear me babble but i have to just for the next couple of minutes have any of you watched the movie rocky right rocky balboa da, 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 da. you know that stuff right okay i love that movie by the way but i remember in that movie and i'm going to give you two examples right to get to the point that i want to get to so please bear with me it's going to be worth it 
So in that movie, Rocky, I remember Mick, right? It was Mick, his trainer, the little old guy. I remember him screaming at Rocky once, and he was eating, I think it was an orange or something, and he's screaming, and there's spit coming out of his mouth, and he's saying, in order for you to be able to be ready for a match, a boxing match that's 45 minutes long, he meant 15 rounds at three minutes a round, you have to train for 45,000 minutes. 99.9% .9 of the time that you're in the military, if you're in a combat arms unit, uh, you spend either training or being bored, right? So when you're at home, what are you doing if you're in a combat unit? You're training to go to war, to go and do the, the specific job that you were meant to do for that infantry unit or special forces unit or whatever it may be, artillery unit, right? And then when you go down range, about 99% of the time that you spend down range, you spend doing four things, okay? Training, number one, you'll still train while you're down there, okay? Number two is rehearsing to go out on, on a mission, right? Number three is being bored. About 99% of the time that you're out on mission, nothing exciting happens, and that's what you want. That is why I feel that most people who are veterans, who are combat veterans, when they come back home, they want to live a boring life because boring equals good. But the fourth one is about maybe one half to 1% of the time that you spend downrange, you see action. You get into what's called a tick, a troops in, in a contact. Troops in contact is called a tick. So what am I getting at, ladies and gentlemen? It's the same thing with everything. If you want to be prepared for something, you have to take the time to get ready. And all of these videos that I do telling you about gold, telling you about people that can't afford food and what they can do to go ahead and get food, why it is that you need to be preparing now for what's to come. To many people, they may think, man, this is never going to happen. It's never happened. Why? Because there is a thing called recency bias. And some people think that since it's never happened to them where they live in their lifetime, that it can't happen. Another thing is called normalcy bias. And that's because some people think that something that's never happened will never happen. Kind of like saying, well, I've never broken my arm, so my arm is never going to break. Obviously, wrong. It can break. You're just lucky that it's never broken. What am I saying is that all of these videos, all of the thousands of videos that I've done for the last several years, they are leading and will lead to a climax, just like our financial system, just like all of the cycles that we are enduring right now will hit a climax. We have a social unrest cycle that we're right in the middle of actually, but we still haven't climaxed that cycle. We have a cycle where the economy is just going to completely fail. We have a market crash cycle. We have a business cycle and gold itself also has cycles. And that's what Mr. Rickards talks about are the cycles that gold has gone through and how he has determined that we are now entered into the next bull market cycle. Not only him, I've heard it from many other analysts, but this is what he has to say. And I will leave the link to all of these articles so that you can revisit them if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Gold is still the best form of money and proves valuable to investors over time. And this is Mr. Rickards saying, the key for investors is to stay focused on the long-term attributes of gold and not getting caught up in the day-to-day -day price moves. And that is exactly, ladies and gentlemen, on point. I never look at the day-to-day -day price of gold or silver. I just go and buy it whenever my dollar cost average day or week comes up, and that's that. Now, if I notice or I hear something that it takes a really big hit, uh, I'll be like, hey, I'll tell my wife, hey, you think maybe we ought to go and get a little bit of silver? You know, I got hit by a buck 50 or something like that. Let's go get some. Yeah, there's a great time to get some. But more than likely, I do a dollar cost average on a monthly basis after I get my retirement paycheck. And that is how I protect my excess wealth. Now, for anything that I say here, ladies and gentlemen, please understand that I'm not a financial advisor. I feel very adamant about what I'm telling you, that gold will protect your wealth. And it will allow you to go ahead, gold and silver that is, and it will allow you, in my opinion, to go ahead and buy that gallon of gas at $21 a gallon because gold will always hold its value against the diminishing purchasing power of fiat currency. Gold is the bellwether for fiat currencies going up or down in value. And over time, you will see that gold has done nothing but go up in nominal value as the purchasing power of fiat currencies have gone down.
And he says that he has frequently forecasted that gold will reach $15,000 an ounce by 2026 or sooner. That is not a guess, he says. It is the result of rigorous analysis. Now, when I read this, I look at it in a different way than most people do. When I see, wow, gold is going to reach $15,000 an ounce by 2026, I'm like, that's awesome. The way I think is that it's not awesome. Why? Even though I hold a little bit of gold and if it goes to $15,000 an ounce, that's a good thing because it's preserving my purchasing power. I think about all of those people, the 98.5 or 99% of Americans that don't own any gold or silver, that don't know that gold or silver can protect their wealth. What are they going to do in order to be able to buy that loaf of bread, ladies and gentlemen? If if they have not been protected because a $15,000 ounce of gold means that the value of the dollar has gone down about 7x or so. And here he explains to us why it is that he feels that gold is going to hit $15,000 an ounce within the next couple of years. And he says the first bull market in gold ran from August of 71 to 1980 makes perfect sense. Why? Because anyone that knows anything about fiat currencies understands that the fiat currency called the Federal Reserve note came to be in 1971 after President Nixon took us off the gold standard. The dollar price of gold rallied from $35 an ounce to $800 per ounce. And I think that maybe here he's a little bit mistaken, okay? Uh, from $35 an ounce to $800 an ounce, I believe that in 1971, the price of gold was about $40 and I think like 80 cents an ounce, something like that. But anyways, you get the point. And he says that the second bull market in gold ran from 99 to 2011. And these dates that he's given, you can actually look them up and research for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. That way you know that he's actually telling the truth. The dollar price of gold rallied from $250 an ounce to $1,900 an ounce, and that was a 670% gain in a 12-year period. And of course, the period after 1980 was a long bear market that lasted 19 years and saw the dollar price of gold drop by 68%. The period from August of 2011 to December of 2015 was another bear market lasting 4.3 years that saw the dollar price of gold drop by 45%. But ladies and gentlemen, gold should be something that you get for the long long term. For example, I never plan on selling my gold or my silver. I never plan on selling it. I plan on passing that down to my lineage, to my children, to my grandchildren. If I ever have to use it, I will have it because it is savings. It is the preservation of wealth. It is me telling the government, hey, I'd rather take all of those hours and all of the effort that I went through in order to earn this fiat currency and turn it into gold and silver, which is real money. That way you, Mr. Government, can't take away all of those hours I already worked to earn that money by inflating the dollars that I used or got rid of in order to turn them into gold. I hope that you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Here he says that the third bull market in gold began on December 16th of 2015, with gold hitting a bottom of $1,050 per ounce at the end of the prior bear market. Since then, gold has rallied to about $2,000 per ounce, as of today, a 90% gain. We can talk about, hey, it went up to $2,100, whatever, but no, today is around, I think right now as I'm talking, is about $2,030 roughly. Uh, so it seems like it may have found a new floor at 2000 which is really really good uh, that next floor that we need to find is 2100 but I digress and now here he says how it's going to get to $15,000 applying that gain and duration to a baseline of $1,050 per ounce beginning December 2015 leads to a gains projection for this bull market of $15,000 per ounce by August of 2026. Now, is this gonna happen? I have no idea. I have mixed feelings about this. In a way, I kinda like hope that it will happen because that means that the dollar is pretty much done and then hopefully we can get to a better system that will be more fair for the people, for we the people. In a way, I hope it doesn't happen because I know what $15,000 an ounce gold would mean. It would mean that a lot of people would be starving, ladies and gentlemen. 
That's what it would mean. It would mean that jobs, wage earners, will not be able to keep up with the massive inflation that they are facing as gold goes up that high. It would mean that the dollar is so weak that we are not going to be able to import those things that we normally want to import in an era where we're importing about, I think, around 40% of all of the oil that we need in order to power our economy. It would be devastating, ladies and gentlemen, I believe. Right. So in a way, I kind of like want it to happen so I can hurry up and be over and we can start anew. In a way, I know that if it does happen, it's going to hurt a lot of people. And this is where the 45,000 minutes of training comes in, ladies and gentlemen, so that you can prepare to fight that 45 minute bout. This is when you have to get ready. It's now. But AP, I can't afford to be going out there and buying gold or silver. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but this is what I would say to that. Everyone that's listening to this can afford to buy silver at the minimum, right? You can afford to go out there and find a side hustle where you can make an extra five bucks or 10 bucks a week or 20 bucks a month and go buy five or 10 dimes, depending on what they go for at your local coin shop for about two bucks a dime or so. That would mean that in one year, you will have way over an ounce, which is more than what everyone could have if silver was evenly distributed. It may not sound like a lot, but a dime will go a long way. Ask people in Venezuela that were trading, uh, you know, little bits of silver and gold for services and food stuff. There are a lot of people in the know as to what is happening right now with gold and silver, the dollar. For anyone that doesn't know, the UAE, United Emirates, uh, Arab Emirates, I think is what it's called, that country, they stopped taking dollars for oil. The petrodollar system is done. You just haven't been told. Saudi Arabia joined the BRICS as of the 1st of January next year. Venezuela is going to join the BRICS. They sit atop the biggest oil field in the world. All of these countries that have a lot of oil that used to sell that oil for dollars are not going to do it anymore. And a lot of people understand what's going on. They're just not telling you. Costco sold over $100 million of gold during the quarter, says their chief financial officer. Why are they selling $100 million worth of gold? You know that the targeted uh, people or the people that Costco targets to be their customers are the middle class, middle, upper middle class, somewhere in there, right? Why are all of these middle, upper middle class people getting gold from Costco at this amount? That's about 50,000 ounces, I believe, at about $2,000 an ounce. That comes out to be about 50,000 ounces or so. The anticipated retreat in both the USD and interest rates across 2024 are key positive drivers for gold. What does that mean? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you all something. I am not attacking your intelligence at all. This is something that I had to learn to do. When you read something and it doesn't really make sense the first time through, make sure you understand what it says. The anticipated retreat in both the USD and interest rate, meaning that as interest rates go back down, the value of the dollar is going to go back down. If the value of the dollar goes down, then what happens? You need more dollars to buy stuff, meaning that it's going to make the nominal price of gold go up. That's what that means right there. And finishing it off, he says that our U.S. economists expect the starting point for Fed rate cuts to be in May and is forecasting 150 basis points, which is huge, of rate cuts next year in total, with a further 100 basis points in early 2025. This should support gold's move even higher, and it will. And what they're saying is that they're anticipating that the Federal Reserve will cut rates in the next year and a half to two years by a total of 2.5% points. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have inflation and they are going to start or they are planning on cutting rates already. And we still have inflation, ladies and gentlemen. The dollar is going to be devalued to a point where your hours are going to be stolen from you again. Get ready now. This suggests that there is still plenty of room for speculators to add to their net long in 2024 and push gold prices even higher. So gold prices, ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you that it's gonna go up to $15,000 an ounce, but I'll tell you what, it ain't going to stay at the 2000 level for very long. Just think about it. Again, gold and silver protect your wealth. They are usually an inverse of what the dollar or a fiat currency is wherever you may live. What do you think is going to happen to the value of your fiat currency? Looking back how it's been devalued just over the last few decades. You think that the value is going to go up or down. Therefore, you must do what you think is the best thing for you to do.
Now, let's go ahead and take a look, ladies and gentlemen, at some of the awesome deals that are still available for some things that you might still be able to get before Christmas. Now, the first company that I'm going to talk about is an awesome little company that's run by an American here in America. I believe he's out of Nebraska, right? Don't quote me on that, but I believe he's out of Nebraska, 21-year-old kid that makes awesome looking knives i am going to leave these links on the very top of the pinned comment and under them will be the links of the articles that i went over so that it's easy for you to find if you want to go take a look at his stuff and hopefully purchase something that you like now take a look at this where is it you know what i forgot to turn on the christmas tree Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Now, yes, Christmas is all about consumption nowadays, but let me tell you what, if you're going to purchase some things for Christmas as gifts or even for yourself, make it something that's gonna last you a long time. Make it something that if you're gonna give to someone as a gift, something that they can actually use, all right? I personally like to give silver for Christmas to my family members and friends. I actually just went to a really good friend's uh, house, myself and my wife, I went to their house for a dinner that they had and now uh, they have five children which are really really great kids let me go ahead and shout them out because i think it would be really cool if they hear their names over the internet uh shelby merry christmas victoria brooklyn let's see um janae and clint is their boy all right so merry christmas to all of you as well as to you matt and christina thank you very much for having us for dinner that day so i got them one of these little guys right but I got it to them in a little festive red pouch. And that's what I like to do. So if you're gonna give something, give something away that's gonna have value, that's gonna stay for a long time. And for someone that needs to add an awesome knife to their prep, check this out. <laughs> this thing, look, first of all, let me put this down. It comes with a nice sheath. And again, this is American made, ladies and gentlemen, American made, all right, by an American. And uh, his, his site, I will leave the link and a pin comment. Uh, so anyways, you put your, your belt through here. This is a very nice, this is like molded just for the knife right here. See, and you can actually, you're gonna have to actually get it to where it's used to going in and out, all right? So anyways, look at this knife. This thing is awesome. Look at how thick it is. And again, these are handmade, okay? It's very, very, very sharp, okay? very nice handle it's got a skull crusher right there that you can use of course for a car window or something uh, you can put a lanyard to here it's just a very rugged knife that you can chop with it's sharp enough where you can do a little bit of fine work to it if you have to but a very nice knife i would hope that you'll go check out his site and if you are in the market for a very hardy knife that's going to last you a very long time take a look at this again i'm not affiliated with this company i just love that this young man has taken life by the you know what and said hey i'm going to start my own business i'm going to be an entrepreneur and i'm going to go ahead and dig out my own american dream and he's doing it by making awesome knives All right, that's the first one the second one is this i love this product so much that i can't stop talking about it and it's the pull start now this, ladies and gentlemen, is something that I believe everyone should have at least one pack of. They come in packs of three. This pull starts, you can just pull the lanyard on this and it will catch on fire on its own. You don't need matches or anything like that. And it will last for about 30 minutes. And uh, in an emergency, let's say that you get stuck somewhere in the middle of nowhere and you need to build a fire ASAP because it's an emergency and the conditions just aren't great and you don't feel like taking out your ferrous CM rod because maybe it's 20 below zero, this is going to work for you. This is awesome, all right? So again, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to this so you can check it out. Now, the last two companies that I'm going to talk about, I am affiliated with them. And if you do purchase something from them, I will earn a small commission, ladies and gentlemen. So there is your full disclosure. The first one, of course, I'm going to talk about my favorite solar generator, which is the Opus brand right here. <laughs> right. And I just noticed this, but they have an awesome sale on their Mega 3. Uh, so if you take a look at the picture, I think I'm going to leave it here or here. This is an awesome sale, ladies and gentlemen. And when you attach the 5% discount using my code, Alaska Prepper, it's going to take 5% off. And uh, I think I put the new price on it somewhere around here, 
right so go check this out especially if you're in the market for a solar generator these are awesome prices i think that what opus is doing is is they're picking like one different solar generator every day for the next few days to give it an awesome price so continue to take a look and see if you find something that you're looking for at the price that you want to pay for it but these prices are really awesome the last one that i'm going to talk about today is something that i think everyone should definitely have in their vehicle along with the pull start all right along with the good knife uh not necessarily have a solar generator in your vehicle right at all times ladies and gentlemen but that's hybrid lights i think having a great flashlight is very important and hybrid lights are awesome little flashlight and right now they have an essentials pack where they're selling this one right here they're selling a headlamp right comes with a clip and it also comes with a band for your head and they're also selling this one they call this one the puck right which can act as a flashlight and also as a lantern and what i like about these guys the most is that they're very rugged and they'll last a very long time they're simple they're not complicated and they will hold a charge for seven years all right ladies and gentlemen so you can charge this set it somewhere and don't worry about it when you need it it's going to be available for you to use you can charge this one and most of their lights via two different ways a small solar panel or a usb and a lot of their lights you can also use to charge a phone in an emergency all right there's one of their products that you can charge three different ways usb solar and also via ac but i believe that's only one of their products other than that all their other products you can charge with solar or usb so hybrid lights ladies and gentlemen right now this essentials pack is at a pretty good price and if you use my code and my link it's an additional 20 percent off i think that these three things for like 70 something bucks is a great deal for a really good quality light that's going to be it for today ladies and gentlemen i hope that you have a great day i hope that if you have excess wealth that you're going out there and protecting it by getting a little bit of precious metals and a lot of people ask me where can i store it ap well use your imagination that's what i always like to say and for those of you that just cannot you just cannot get any silver or any gold to put away for the long term make sure that you have all of your preps make sure that you have water food uh, medicine self-defense ladies and gentlemen i would never tell you to go get an ounce of gold before you have self-defense taken care of i've made this video about 10 times longer than i probably should have so if you're still here god bless you god bless america i'm alaska prepper i am out